Spellbound Designs, and sorry I'm scrubbing today. Uh, it's Saturday, I got the doggies home, all three kids, and the hubby home. So, uh, excuse any weird interruptions. All right, so what you're gonna need is, um, you're gonna need drill, okay? You're gonna need bottles. I'm going to also try to experiment with some of these other fancier liquor bottles. So I've got this Grey Goose. I got this Sky Vodka. I've got this bottle. And I've got my typical wine bottle. Okay? So you need bottles. Uh, you're gonna need soap, just soap. You're gonna need some Gooby Gone. Okay? Uh, you're gonna need rags and towels. You're gonna need an empty bucket. Uh, and I'll show you what that's for. You're gonna need a syringe. I use my Cobra syringe. A razor blade. A little cup full of water. You're gonna need some putty of some sort. I took plumber's putty out in the garage and I, I mold it to what I need it for. And when I'm done, I put it in a Ziploc baggie so I can reuse it at a later date. But I would think any kind of clay. Um, the children's stuff that you, ha if you have that around the house or the plumber's putty, but you gotta have this. Another important thing you need is you need these um, diamond dust hole saw uh, drill bits, all right? You can get these off of Amazon. Let's see. You can get these off of Amazon. I got them for like 12 bucks, I think. Um, so you definitely have to have that. And in this set, I got like five different ones. Also, you need this, this little thingy. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> My husband bought it for me. So uh, anyways, you need this to hold the bottle down. Otherwise it'll be heavy. All right, so the first step we wanna do is I'm gonna show you, I won't clean these bottles or take the packaging off because we want to leave them that way but for my wine bottles I clean them all really well and I take all of the uh, all the stickers off so I'm going to show you how to do that next um, all right just so stand by okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take the glasses off I'm going to take this top wrapping off We'll put this video on YouTube later. I'll edit it. So you just want to peel it. I'm using, I'm going to also use a knife. It's not a very sharp one, it's an old one. Kind of cut it. You see? And then you just tear the top off. All right, so there, I got rid of all that. Next, we're going to want to do these two decals. The best way I found to do this and the quickest way is to put hot water in the bottles and just let, let the hot water in the bottles sit for a minute. And then that's what the razor blade is going to come in because then after the, the purpose of the hot water is it's going to loosen up the glue, uh, the glue on these decals and make it easier to pull off. All right. I'm just going to rearrange my stuff over here. You want to say hi, Alyssa? One of my children's in here. <laughs> Drinking his way in front. <laughs> they can only see the top. Say hi to my beautiful 16-year-old. This is the basketball player, everyone, that you donated uh, if you purchased the uh, webinars and all the templates. This is Alyssa. Say hi. Hey. Your live feed, you don't need to smile. It's not a picture. I like smiling <laughs> to the people. I'm giving them what they want. <laughs> Okay, so this is probably about ready. So what I'm gonna do is, see if I can, that probably won't work. Um, there we go, gets it up a little higher. All right, so, um, so now what you're gonna do is you're just going to, see I'm taking it, and as you can see, see how it just peels right off because the glue Bam, just peeled right off. We're gonna do the same for the back side. And if my daughter wants to hang out, I'll let her hold the camera. All right. Yeah, I'm tired of my driver's stuff. <laughs> so bam, so that's how easy that is. The next phase is dump the water out. 
And now what we do is I just spray the Gooby Gone on the rag, not on the, directly on the bottle because I'm usually doing about 10 or 15 of these at once. And, and I just rub the, the bottle really good. And it makes all that extra sticky go away. Go away. So the next phase is, let's get behind there and turn the camera over here. So the next, the next step is to wash it. You want all this slimy goo off. Okay. So what I do is I just take some soap, put it on my hands, use cold water, rub the soap in my hands, and then I scrub the bottle like this. I found this is the best way to get the gooby gooby gone stuff off the bottle. Just like that. Okay. Bam, and then you let the bottle dry for about a day. Um, so here are some bottles that I already did with holes in them. And I'm gonna show you up close. Ugh, there's water leaking out of it. So we don't need the Gooby Gone anymore. Um, and normally I do all this out in the garage except for the washing the bottles part. So, but my husband's out there working in the garage. So, so this is one of the bottles I did. As you can see, there's a little bit of a tiny like a spider shadow, but that's not, or the spider crack, but that's not gonna matter when if you're spray painting them. Here's another one, okay? And it only takes a few seconds. So we need to clamp this bottle here. That's what this is for, okay? So that the bottle does not move. And I always do it on a corner of like a table or a counter because that's where I find it holds it the best. And then I'm just gonna squeeze this on here. And also, I try to do my, my holes like where the words are, the 750 mil. All right. Okay. Now, I'm choosing, um, this is the, where the drill bits come in handy. If you're using um, the twinkle lights or the bigger lights, stand by. Oh, I'm going to get them. Hold on. So, if you use the twinkle lights, which is what I drilled most of these bottles for. You don't even need a very big drill hole for this because that's what's going in. That's what's going in. You can get these off of Amazon too, these twinkle lights, and they shine really pretty. See, all right? And these are also battery operated. Um, but if you're going with the ch cheaper lights, the plug-in lights, you're gonna need a bigger drill bit. So for that one, I use this size of a drill bit for these lights, okay? so. That's why it's good to get this set with multiple drill bits. And okay, so I already have the size I want for the twinkle lights. Which is? Uh, Show them. Wow. Which is the second size. It is the, I don't know what exact size it is. It's just a size. I don't know all the technical of tools and all that stuff, but. Oops. Well, you can show them at least. I am. It's already on the drill. Now you made me mess up. It's the third size. It's the middle size, actually. So it's this size. I've already been using it on the drill. Okay. Okay, so next is where the putty comes in. This is what you need the putty for. As you're drilling into the, uh, as you're drilling, it causes heat, okay? And that's what can cause the bottle to shatter. So you do not want your wow. drill and the glass to get very hot. So this is where you make your putty into kind of like a little funnel or a volcano. And you just put it on the glass like that. All right, next is your water. So this is where I use the syringe because if it, it sometimes it'll take a little bit to drill through, but the water will start, it'll make a little cut and it'll start taking the water out. So you gotta keep putting more water in as you're drilling. So to one hand it, I use the syringe. All right, next, you're gonna go in at an angle. You gotta start at an angle and you hold it there until the, uh, till the bit uh, kind of grabs the glass. See how it moves around? So you gotta use both hands. Now it's grabbed the glass. What you do is slowly tilt it straight on and you can see that water in there and then what I kind of do is move the drill back and forth kind of 
side by side motion to give it a little extra. And you can see I've still got plenty of water in there. And bam, there you go. It only takes a few seconds. See the hole? All right, so then I take my putty off, release my bottle, and this is what the bucket's for. So I come over here to the sink, and you don't want this glass in your, in your sink or, or just anywhere that's in the bottle because that's where the glass went. So what I do is I just take a little bit of water here, and then I actually did it the wrong way, duh. And then I just dump it in there, and it gets that piece of glass in there. The next thing I do is cold water, I use a little bit of soap, again, because you're gonna have that uh, putty residue on the inside. What you're gonna do is cover it with your finger, add some water, and then you wanna shake really good. And it'll help wipe that putty residue that got in there that was mixed with the water. Now, I've never done these hard, thick, wine bottles before so I'm gonna let y'all watch me do that for the first time and let's hope I don't shatter them because they are my sons. I told them I'd turn them into light bottles. All right so next we're gonna do is we're gonna try one of these bigger bottles. Let's try this one. You want me to put it back up there? No because I'm gonna show you you're gonna you need to watch me drill it. We're gonna drill in it. I'm, we're right, skipping no? the yeah we're skipping the hold that for me. That we were no and this may not go. Oh, there it goes. This one may be a little tough because, okay. So this one, we're, I'm not washing or anything because my son wants to leave all the labels on. He just wants it as a lamp. So next we definitely, um, I'm gonna put regular lights in this one. So I need a bigger drill bit. So I'm gonna use the biggest drill bit I have. All right, same procedure. Put my putty on there. Fill it some water. Now let's see what we got. Oops, my hole may need to be a bit bigger. There we go. And I may need more water. Yeah. Because it looks like it's already leaking out. All right. So again, start at an angle. Can you see it at an angle right there, the drill bit? Okay, so you start at an angle until it grabs. You gotta use both hands. Once it grabs, and now you can see it's grabbed, then slowly go down straight. Now I'm just gonna tell you folks, if I can do this, anybody can do this. Yeah, hold the bottle so it doesn't draw out because it's... There it goes. Bam, a perfect circle too. It even, looks like it shattered at all. Look at it barely, I don't even think it spidered on this oh, a little bit right there. So there you go, perfect hole. And this is gonna make a really cool light bottle for him. And then we'll do one more to show you guys. And then we'll be done. So I'm gonna try this bottle because this looks pretty interesting and it's really thick. Um, I don't- Let's just hurt ourselves. All right, and again, you put your little putty funnel on. The, this is one of the most crucial parts that you can't forget because you need that water in there to keep from shattering the glass. Okay. Start at an angle until it grabs. And then go down straight on. And kind of move your drill bit, make it slowly. Oh yeah, this one might take a while because it's thicker glass.
Oh, there it goes. Bam. Yay, it looks so awesome. That one came out really good too. Yeah. And we'll do one more bottle to show you guys and then that will be the end of the video because I'm sure y'all are bored now. And we want to do directly on the back, probably where that, where that is, I'd hate to say, but. Okay. Water. We're gonna use the same, cause I'm not giving him, I'm giving him regular lights to put in here. Maybe thicker, I guess. I don't know. You see it locking up? Oh. That's where I ran out of water, so I gotta keep putting water in there. This is even bigger. Keep going. She wants to. I know that we gotta keep the water in there. Or did it go in it? I just don't know. There we go. Boy, that's a weird bottle. It's stuck in there. There we go. Okay, look how thick that bottle is. That's why. Wow. Look at it from an yeah, can you show them at an angle how thick that is? That is some thick glass. That's why that one took yeah. a lot longer. Okay, so this is how to do the bottles from start to finish and drill. I hope you guys like the video, and I'll do some edits and cuts and also put it on YouTube. Don't forget, see you around.